Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and hi everyone. See you again. In this video, we will discuss the pre-lab module for experiment 4 which is about the magnetic field. At the end of this lesson, student will be able to explain the experiment to determine the value of the horizontal component of the earth magnetic field. As usual, the pre-lab module discussion are divided into three parts. The first part is introduction. For question number one, what is the quantity of the magnetic field intensity B? So the magnetic field intensity B is a vector quantity. Question number two, what is the symbol and SI unit for magnetic field? The symbol for magnetic field is B with the unit of Tesla, which is symbol T. Question number three, the addition for two vector quantities of magnetic field obey the parallelogram law of vector. For question number four, state the equation for magnetic field strength at the end of the coil. So the equation for magnetic field strength at the end of the coil BC is equal to mu naught and I over D where the mu naught is the permeability constant which, which the value is 4 pi times 10 power of 97 Henry per meter and is the number of turn of the coil. I is the current that flow in the coil and D is the diameter of the coil. For question number 5a, from the diagram below, state the equation for tangent theta in terms of BE and BC. So referring to the diagram, we will refer to TWA, which is the tangent is equal to adjust, uh, opposite per adjacent. Because of that, we get the equation for tangent theta which is equal to BC over BE. For question number 5b, since BC is equal to mu naught and I over D, derive tangent theta in terms of BE and I. To derive the equation for tangent theta, we refer to the answer in question 5a, which is tangent theta is equal to BC per BE. We substitute the BC inside the equation. So, you will get that the tangent theta is equal to mu naught and I over BE D. Second part of the discussion is experiment. Question number six, you need to state the manipulated, manipulative variable, responding variable and constant variable. So manipulative variable in this experiment is the current. The responding variable is the angle of deflection of the compass and the constant variable is the number of turn of the solenoid or the coil, diameter of a coil and earth magnetic field strength. Question number seven, what is the arrangement for the connection of EMF 0.1K, rheostat, emitter, power supply and switch in the lab? So, all connections must be set up in series circuit. Question number 8. What is the function of the rheostat in this experiment? So, the function of rheostat is to increase, decrease or vary the resistance. Therefore, it will decrease, increase or vary the electric current. For question number 9, what are the measuring apparatus used during the experiment? So in this experiment, you will use the emitter to measure the current and compass to measure the angle of deflection. For question number 10, why does the compass have to be put away from any iron structure? The compass must be put away from any iron structure because to avoid any influence on the alignment of the compass needle. For question number 11, why do we have to change the polarity of the power supply and record the angle theta too? To, this is because to find the average value of the angle so that the result will be more accurate. The third part of this discussion is about the data analysis. For question number 12, based on the linear graph equation, y is equal to mx plus c, Write the suitable quantity referring to equation in 5b. Okay, first we refer to the equation 5b which is tangent theta is equal to mu naught and I over B E D. So when we want to write the suitable quantity referring to that equation, we will get that y axis is represent the tangent theta, x axis is represent the current, 
because of that, the gradient m will be equal to mu nu n over b e d. And because of c is 0, so the interception is equal to 0. For question number 13, based on the linear graph equation y which is equal to mx plus c2, sketch a suitable graph referring to the equation in 5b. So from equation 5b, we need to plot the graph of tangent theta versus i referring to the y and x axis. Because of that, we will get a straight line graph. For question number 14, according to the straight line graph of tangent theta against i, what is the relationship between the tangent theta and i? Because of we have meshed with the linear graph equation, so our graph is that uh, uh, the tangent theta is directly proportional to the current i. For question number 15, how do we determine the value of BE from this graph? Okay, to get the equation of, to get the value for BE, referring to the gradient equation, we just need to rearrange and you will get that the BE from the equation of mu naught n over MD. For question number 16, which is last question in this pre lab module, you need to list down three precautions for this experiment. I just want to remind for the precaution, don't forget to mention the reason why you take the precaution. For example, the first precaution is make sure all wires connected properly so that the experiment will run smoothly. For second precaution, carry out the experiment in an isolated environment because surrounding magnetic field such as mobile, electrical wiring, may affect the reading of the experiment and the last precaution is keep away any electronic equipment from the compass so that the compass deflect smoothly so that's all for the discussion of the pre lab module thank you so much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel Thank you and I wish you all the best.